I was originally cast uh, to do the, the part of Keith. And when I showed up for the first recording session, they said, oh, you're also going to do this other character, Pidge. Uh, what do you got? And they, they showed me a drawing of this little guy. And uh, we started throwing voices out, or I started throwing voices out. And nothing seemed to be uh, exciting them. And then I sort of stumbled into this, this thing I started to do in here. More or less as a joke. And they said, yeah, 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 that's it. I said, are you sure? And they said, oh, yeah, 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 that's it. We can't stay, but we can't leave. We're really in a pickle. And I thought this character was like a one-shot in one episode. I, I come to discover, of course, it's a, it's a, it's a major character in the show. And, and that's how the voice came in, in literally about a two-minute two uh, little moment of improvisation. Let's try and sneak out while the Robeast is busy eating his lunch. And... I heard, I got more grief over that character. The, uh, the director would tell me people in the production office were all doing that voice, all said they could do it better than me. I don't know what the standard was since I was the one that doing it, but they felt they could do it better. And uh, I, I just never heard the end of the Pidge character. People seem to either love it or hate it, and most people are convinced that they can do it better than I can do it, which, you know, they're welcome to... To, to try if they want, but uh, it just always amused me that this character that created so much controversy and uh, was literally, the voice was literally created in less than two minutes without a great deal of thought on my part. I, I'm sure I would have thought much more deeply had I realized how often I was going to have to do it.